Hey guys, Youngblood back with you for a, another episode of Captain's Log, doing a follow-up on our last episode about the air hammer. Uh, after I put that video out, I got you know quite a few comments from people saying, well, Youngblood, this is an infantry weapon, why are you using it and showing how crappy it is against the uh, air-to-air -air and, uh, you know, against tanks? Well, it's hard to argue with that logic, because, you know, in all honesty, it is supposed to be a uh, air-to-infantry specialty weapon. Uh, you know, it's an air shotgun. You know, if you have a shotgun on the ground and you're shooting a tank, it's not going to do shit. So why would I expect this to be any different? So I went out on the hunt trying to find infantry just to make sure that, uh, you know, I could give this weapon a real fair shake and give it another analysis. And here's my revamped thoughts. Overall, I still think this weapon sucks. Now, that being said, I do have quite a bit more respect for this weapon now that I've used it specifically in an anti-infantry role. Uh, my big beef with this weapon is how specialized it is. There's so many situations where this weapon is the wrong one, and so few situations where it's the right weapon to use, that it's hard to justify putting it on your setup. So, you know, rethinking this, there's really two situations where I find this weapon even mildly useful. Uh, one, like I mentioned before, is stealing kills. If you just want to be a vulture and swoop in and put one round into a flaming ESF, yes, you're going to get a kill. Uh, it's easy to put a lot of rounds into a target quickly. Uh, the other one is really against infantry, and that's what the weapon is really specialized for. But here's the problem. Most of the time, infantry is going to be around a uh, prowler, a lightning, a uh, mag rider. Uh, sometimes there's going to be other ESFs in the area that are going to cause you problems, uh, even liberators. You can't do much damage against a liberator with this weapon. That's the main beef I have is you can, there's very few situations where you're actually going to have just you one-on-one -on -one with infantry uh, with the ability to really, uh, you know, take them on and be super effective. Now, the best possible place I found where this was effective was after we capped a uh, amp station. And obviously, I think this would apply for any of the big bases. But after you cap it, typically, there's less vehicles of the enemy around. There's less air-to-air. Uh, -air. But a lot of times, there's straggling infantry. And if you can put on a, uh, you know, a night vision scope uh, and kind of clear the perimeter, it's a very specialized role, but it was really effective in those situations. So that's the one time I would actually recommend you using this. Honestly, though... The rotary is far better for air-to-air. -air. I still think it's better for air-to-armor. Um, you know, if you're attacking ground, you've got the pods. You don't really need this. The pods are pretty good against infantry as it is. Um, you know, and if you've got pods on your vehicle, the rotary is going to make you a better all-around vehicle. So I still wouldn't recommend you putting this on any of your setups. But it's mildly more useful than I had initially thought. So... Uh, like you saw there, I mean, one infantry outside of an amp station, one shot kill, great. Doesn't always happen that way, though, so. It's better than I thought it was at first, uh, but I've played quite a bit with it now. Uh, tried, you know, a different optic and adding a few more shells in. It's still just about average. Alright, so there you go. We've got a uh, updated uh, situational breakdown of the, you know, this weapon. You know, a lot of people are going to probably say, well, I'm really effective with it. And you know what? There's always going to be people that are great with a weapon. And who knows? It may be the same for you. In general, though, I don't think a lot of people are going to get a lot out of this weapon. So I would definitely suggest looking elsewhere. I'm still a big proponent of the rotary. I still think even the M20 Mustang is better than the M30. So, uh, you know, play with it if you want. I wouldn't recommend dumping a lot of certs into it, though. They're hard to earn, and you don't want to waste them on something you're not going to use very much. Uh, last thing I wanted to hit on real quick was that uh, I'm going to start doing a little bit of live streaming on the channel. Uh, it's going to be through uh, Twitch TV. My question for you guys is, I don't really know how much you guys are going to watch, and I don't play a whole lot, but how do you want me to let you know that I'm doing that? Do you want me to put up a video every time I'm going to be live streaming, or would you rather just uh, have the link that you could just go check every once in a while? I'm fine with either one. Let me know what you're interested in. Feel free to even put down a comment that says, you know, I don't give a shit if you're live streaming or not. I'm not going to watch it. I'm going to spend my time playing. That's fine, too. I just want to try and do the most I can for you guys, so if there's something that I'm missing or anything I can add in, I want to do that. Uh, yeah, so let me know. That's pretty much all I got. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, do all that like, sub, and stuff, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.